What's up everyone and welcome back finally to Pokemon Volt White Nuzlocke. It's been a while and I've realized that I say that almost every episode, but hopefully now things will change. And I also say that almost every episode. Anyway, I did a couple of things off screen, mainly just training and also an event happened here. So uh, this is what happened. I did a little bit of training for Flax because a lot of you guys told me that he was under leveled and he needs some levels and it was actually pretty tough. Fortunately though, after just one level up, he evolved into the beautiful Nuzleaf, the, I guess, the mascot of Nuzlocke, so that's kind of cool. He also learned a couple of new moves, as well as Randy, who I trained up a little bit just to be even with the rest of the team members, I guess. They're all around level 20 to 22 now, and they learned some new moves, but you'll see those later on in the video. Anyway, the event that happened here was actually Bianca just talked to the little girl, I guess, and they gave us a fishing rod, because why not? Anyway, we're back here, and we're finally going to be continuing. This is a very annoying little patch of grass ringing in my ear as I was doing that little narration. So I guess we'll check that out real quick. And of course, it's Audino. It's usually Audino. I think it can be a couple of different Pokemon here. By the way, this is a very, very long route. There are a lot of Pokemon here, and I guess this will show a little test of our power with our new uh, levels, I guess. Or I was about to say new Pokemon, but I meant to say level. Anyway. Using that Scald on Audino, uh, you can see it does a little bit over half damage, which is definitely a step up from the last episode. I don't even know if we fought with Randy. I honestly don't remember, and I feel like, you know, I need to talk about this. I know I talk about it a lot, but you guys know I've been moving, and finally I am settled in. My room's a little bit echoey, a little bit more echoey than I want it to be, I guess. So, uh, hopefully I can fill that up just a little bit more. I did finally finish unpacking all my stuff, and yeah, there will be a Mo Show episode thingy uh, about that. This is not good, but I'm gonna go for the Scald. I don't think he can one-shot kill us with, like, whatever he's got, just because he's level 15. And never mind, we one-shot killed him, so I guess he couldn't even damage us anyway. But I'm not gonna keep Randy in. However, should we go for Flax or B-Jobs? I guess Flax is our new member, so let's show him off and the new moves that he got. I don't think I use B-Jobs at all off-screen, so all the moves on him will be the same, or her, I, I don't know anymore. Flax is a boy, Randy's a girl, that's all I know. And we're gonna Nature Power, so he's got Fake Out, Nature- Oh my god, Earthquake, are you serious? What? Earthquake, okay, so this is why I kept Nature Power. I actually looked up on the, uh, Bulbapedia, the moves that Nature Power can be in Generation 5, and they are some pretty good moves. Seed Bomb in the grass, Earthquake apparently in the land. Um, I know that you can get a couple of other really strong ones, like Ice Beam in the Snow, like, that is just, that's, that's pretty good, man. I didn't think it would actually be Ice Beam, I thought it'd be, like, some weaker move, I guess, like, Powder Snow or something. Uh, we're learning Low Kick, I'm just gonna give it to him, because that's a lot of type coverage. We've got a Dark move, a Grass move, which both get Stab, I'm pretty sure this guy's Dark Grass, at least as Nuzleaf in this one. I don't know if in the regular games he's Dark Grass, uh, all the way from being Nuzleaf, but I'm pretty sure he is. Yep, here we go. I don't know. I just know that he is in this game. Again, I, I'm not... I don't know every single Pokemon. I've been trying for a while. But anyway, everything is settled in, as I was saying, and we should be good to go. So, I'm excited to get back into this game. As I said, I'm gonna try to make this a daily series now, as well as do a couple of other videos. Again, I'm gonna probably need a little bit to uh, adjust back to recording, because it's just been so long since I've done my own solo recordings. But, uh, I really want to get on a good schedule, especially for the summer. I know... Uh, probably all of you guys are out of school by now, unless you live in a country where they don't have summer vacation for school. Then I would feel pretty bad for you, but you probably get summer at some other point and just don't call it summer. Anyway, most of you should probably be out uh, for summer right now, so I'm gonna try and come back to the daily videos, and possibly if I get on a good enough schedule where I'm recording every day and uploading videos every day, I might even try to do two videos a day. That is what I say. Actually, that's not what I say. That's what other people say. They look a little bit more bird-like than I do. I mean, my character's kind of a human. You know who I'm talking about. It's my man, the penguin. Anyway, I'm gonna take out this Teddy Ursa here. Uh, but, what I was saying... I totally lost my trail of thought there. <laughs> uh, yeah, if I get on a good enough schedule to upload daily, then I'll try and make two. But, you know, no promises yet. I will try and promise one video, though. Because, you know, gotta get back on that schedule. I keep thinking that Tickle is Tackle. So, I a lot of times, I end up using Tickle, at least when I was training up. And, uh, it's, it's decent, you know, it lowers their defense and special defense, I think, it lowers both. 
Why don't we just try it out and find out for sure? Let's go, Tickle. I also have Torment, which I thought, you know, let's just give it to him over uh, Water Pulse I think I had before. Oh, that might hurt. I just realized I didn't even pay attention to what Tickle did, so it was totally useless that I even used it. Because I wanted to see what it would do, but I didn't even pay attention, so totally useless there. But, um, yeah, Torment I thought might come in handy. It doesn't let you use two moves in a row, so maybe if, uh, when we get up to Lenora, the second gym, I know she usually likes to use Work Up. I don't know what she will do in this game, but if she does try to use Work Up, you know, at least we won't have her use it twice in a row, which would be really tough for us. Actually, that might be worse, because then she'll attack us and try to kill us. Anyway, this is still Route 3, so I technically cannot catch a Pokemon here, because I killed whatever I ran into here, I'm pretty sure. Um... Where did we run into CDOT? I think this might have been where we actually ran into CDOT, so never mind. I guess I did catch a thing here. However, in the cave, I killed the Zubat last episode, so can't catch anything there. So I guess we'll have to wait until the next route to be able to catch something or uh, the next town if there is actually a gift Pokemon in... Uh, I don't remember the towns in this game at all, actually, so I guess we'll just have to find out when we get there. But anyway, let's get back into this. As I said, that was pretty much everything I wanted to update. Um, yeah, there will be a Mo Show with more details if you're really interested in that. I'm gonna do a little house tour kind of thing since uh, I really, really like this apartment. It is freaking awesome. And here's Lotad. That's a little weird. I, I literally drew a Lotad on a whiteboard. I guess you'll see that if you see the Mo Show as well. I'll try and upload that tomorrow. I'm not sure when it'll go up, but. Yeah, there, there'll probably be two videos tomorrow, so, you know, at least there's that. I'm gonna try to get back on that grind. I know I've been missing out making videos. Uh, I did at least try to do those Omega, Ruby, Alpha, Sapphire updates, which I hope you guys have been enjoying. A lot of you have been showing a lot of support for it, so thank you all so much for that. And uh, for this series, I hope you guys are glad to see it back, because I am excited to actually be back to recording it, because, uh... I missed this Nuzlocke, man. I, I really did. Awakening! Thank you so much. I know none of my Pokemon are asleep, but you know, if they ever are, now we can awaken them with that. I mean, there's more conventional methods to waking people up, but in the Pokemon world, they resort to using prescription drugs. I mean, I, that's why I, I'm assuming an awakening is. It's just kind of like a, like a drink you give them. That's what it looks like. Maybe it's a spray bottle. What if it's just literally a bottle of water? And they just, like, spray the Pokemon in the face, like, yo, wake up, man! That is what it looks like to me. It's a blue little bottle with a spraying nozzle, so, you know, it could be Mario's blood from Sunshine. I really know, so. School Kid Edgar doesn't know, because he's about to die, especially after he intimidates me. You don't intimidate the Flax, man. You get Razor Leafed if you do. Oh, God. I forgot that's super effective, because we're half dark type. So, gonna have to remember that. We're half dark. Oh, God. Um, please survive. Jesus, that is not good. Um, Alright, let's just hope this isn't a speed tie. You know, I'm not even going to risk it. <laughs> what if it was a speed tie? You know, you never know, man. Let's go for B-Jobs and just take it out with the... Okay, you're going to charge. I guess he kind of gave up and knew he was dead, so... x scissor away! Goodbye. That was not good. I for sure thought that Razor Leaf would kill it, but I guess not. And he's got a Nuzleaf of his own. Which is gonna die to one X scissor, because that's four times super effective, my man. You're dead. Lombre, too. Okay. So we just saw Lotad, one of my favorite little Pokemon. I don't know why. I think if I made a top 10 cute Pokemon, Lotad would be up there, man. I don't know why, but as I said, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I have a little whiteboard. I also have a problem apparently saying, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, but I have a whiteboard and I'm gonna like draw something different every day there. I don't know. If I draw something cool, I'll probably post it on Twitter. So if you're following me there, you might see it. If you want to play, which do you prefer? I think this should be pretty clear. Then which one are you interested in? The thing everybody knows or the thing nobody knows? Ooh. Why would you want to know what everybody knows? Okay. Alright. I am apparently quite relaxed, which is pretty true, I guess. I'm a relaxed person. I've been playing Tomodashi Life and they have a little system where you can choose if you want to be relaxed or uh, what's the other option? I don't know. I'm pretty relaxed, though. That's what I chose, and my character is literally a copy of me in a game. It's a pretty cool game if you guys have not checked it out. I'm actually doing a series on it with Sully, because where I moved to, I actually live like 15 minutes away from Sully walking distance. So, we're doing a couple of collabs. Uh, go check that out. I will actually link it in the description. Um, 
It's not a two-player game, but I've been kind of giving him tips on the game and doing a collab. What do you call it? A co-commentary with him. So it's pretty cool, actually. If you go straight from here, there's a Pokemon Center, and you can use these Sunstones. Why would you give me more than one? I don't know, man. I guess Chiren really likes us, so he's going to give us the power of the sun. I would have rather he gave us some Sunny D, personally, but, you know, the Sunstones are cool, too, maybe. I'm also uh, contemplating if I should make these videos a half hour long. Uh, I don't know, a lot of people seem to like the longer videos, and in order to catch up with all of the videos that I've been missing out on, I've been thinking maybe I should do, you know, half hour parts, and then let me know what you think of that in the comments, and like I said, just go check out that Tomodachi Life. It's actually a really cool game. I have my own copy of it, and I posted my character, so if you own the game, go check my Twitter as well for that. Uh, if you want to play with my character in your island, that would be awesome, and send me your pictures if I ever do crazy stuff, because I really like seeing those, they're really funny. Um... But yeah, that's what I've been playing. I haven't been able to record this, if you've been wondering, because I didn't have my computer, and I totally forgot to actually re remove the game and the save file before I came here. Uh, so I was able to record other stuff, like with my laptop that didn't require save files or Photoshop files for the layouts and all that. Um, but yeah, wasn't able to do this. Yeah, it was pretty sad, because I really actually was enjoying this and wanted to play more of it. I don't know why I'm going in these build- Excuse me, in these buildings and talking to everyone. Oh, man. I just have a burp, and it does not want to go for some reason. Okay, I don't have a Snivy anymore. I have, uh, let's pick Oshawa. I, huh. We could pick Snivy and get the Miracle Seed for, uh, Flax. Or we could pick Oshawa and get the water thing. The, what is it? Mystic Water for, uh, Randy. So we'll do that. Let's get that Mystic Water. What's the fire one? Charcoal, I think? A lot of items have effects on Pokemon. Cool, what do you have to say, man? I guess not all of these people are useless, and also this is Nacreen City, so I actually, well, I didn't remember it, but I just saw that it was Nacreen City, so I honestly don't remember this game. This is the game that I least remember, is Black and White. I remember even Black and White 2 more than this one, because I guess I played through Black and White 2 a couple of more times than this one. I've honestly only ever played through this game maybe twice, so... I really don't remember a lot of it, which is why it's exciting, because later on, a lot of it will be very, very blind. Um, so let's talk to this lady. I think she gives us something. Maybe you? Maybe? No? No one wants to give us anything? Why did I even come into this cafe? You're all useless! You're useless to me! Yeah, you're useless too. Okay, are you- Okay, you're all useless. I hate you. I'm leaving. Goodbye. Bye! <laughs> Alright. Let's go to the library, which is, I think, where the gym is, but I don't really want to battle the gym yet, so I'm kind of scared that maybe, you know, we'll have to battle the gym leader if we go in there. Also, my nose is getting nasally, and it sucks. Do I have something called Shroomish? I unfortunately don't. That would be a pretty cool trade, so if we ever somehow miraculously run into a Shroomish on the first route, uh, we'll actually be able to get ourselves a Ponyta. And this guy, ooh. Okay, I thought that this would be the guy that trades... Sorry, trades, uh, the, the two Pokemon, I don't know what they're called, Lilligant and the other one, Cottony, Whimsicott, yeah, those two. I think he trades Cottony for whatever the pre-evolution of Lilligant is. Pellil, that's what it is. Pokemon from this generation, and just in general, this region, like I said, I just don't remember most of it. I still don't know why I'm checking out all these buildings, I keep having hope that they will give us something, but I guess there isn't anything, so we're gonna head over into the library. Actually, it's a museum, not a library, but there is a library in the back, which is the gym, and here's N. You beautiful, beautiful man, I want to see things no one can see. The truths of Pokemon inside Pokeballs. The ideals of how trainers should be. In a future where Pokemon have become perfect, do you feel the same way? I guess. That's so. I think my friends and I should test you to see if you can see this future too. Alright, so we're gonna have a nice rival battle with then. I'm not too excited for it because I feel like my Pokemon are probably low leveled, but it is a double battle, so that's a good thing I wanna say. Steel type pro- oh, what? Um, I forgot to heal up. So this is not good. Fortunately, though, Drillbur is probably going to go down. I am going to get Flax out of here, though, because, my man, you do not want to die right now. Okay, I was going to say that I think Steel resists uh, Dark-type in this generation. I don't think they fixed that for this hack, is what I mean to say. So, this Bronzor would not have gone down to file play, because it would have actually resisted it. It's Steel Psychic, right? Yeah. Bronzor, you little crazy man. Please don't kill me. If that would have hit uh, B-Jobs, that could have been some trouble. But, fortunately, he went for Randy. 
and uh, he's gonna bring out the sunshine. Unleash the power of the sun with your Fabby! Wait, this is Fabby! Oh my god, I just realized! N found Fabby! Oh my gosh, N found Fabby! And he, he's taking care of, of her because he's such a beautiful trainer that he's just that compassionate that he is willing to take care of our Fabby for us and... Alright, this... I don't, I don't know what to say, man! Could this be the return? Could this be the return? I don't know. Honestly, though, I kind of hope that we eventually run into a, uh, a ball picks because that would be pretty cool. You know, it'd be kind of cool to see Fabby return for one last triumphant, uh, Confuse Ray is gonna hit me, isn't it? Nope, I'm actually gonna cross his Ray. Cool. That will probably, yep, take it out. And now we can take out Fabby with our Scald. I'm sorry, Fabby. It just, it had to happen, man. I wonder if we can ever get any events Pokemon. I know in black and white too you can, so maybe we can get Fabby from him at the end of the game. That would be so cool, man. You know what? I'm just... I don't even care, man. I'm gonna make up my own story for this Nuzlocke. And he's taking care of Fabby for us. He he realized that we are not worthy of her power, so... He's taking care of Fabby for us, and... If we manage to defeat this Nuzlocke challenge, we'll be able to get her back. Because... I don't know, man. I wanna get a cat. I don't know. Probably not, but if I ever do, I'm gonna name it Fabby. Probably not while I'm here, though. Maybe next time I move, which will hopefully not be for a while, but you never know. You also never know if Pursuit might kill us on accident. It wouldn't really be an accident, but you know, it, w it would kill us, which would not be good. So, can we take out this Solrua? Yes, we can. Goodbye, friend. That is actually end signature. I don't know why I'm saying Fabby, but as I said, we're making up our own lore for this game. This is not just Pokemon White. Or Volt White. This is Volt White Nuzlocke with your boy Munching Orange Munch Boy. Now I know what power I need. Reshiram, the legendary Pokemon that along with the hero created the Unova region. It's my turn to become that hero, and you and I will be friends. Oh, well, that's awesome. A little bit direct there, but I'll take it. You know, it's kind of like Tomodashi, I guess. Man, I, I've talked about Tomodashi quite a bit. Let's go and heal up. I swear I went in here and I talked to everyone in the Pokemon Center. Why I didn't heal up, That's that just still baffles me. I really don't get it. But, I mean, I guess that worked out for the better because Flax probably would have died on accident if I kept him in at full HP. I don't know. Maybe that worked out. I like to think that, you know, everything is predetermined except until the point when you choose to make a choice because... Then nothing is predetermined. But then again, you never know, you know? You could have been destined to make that choice. Which is, I guess, what I was just saying. Let's just pretend for this Nuzlocke, I believe everything is predetermined, because usually I don't really think that. But, we're in a new route, and this girl, I guess, doesn't want to battle. Either that or she doesn't see us. Like, does she even have eyes? Are her eyes closed? Like, oh, no, oh, no, she does. She has eyes. I guess she just can't see us. Yo, traveling trainer, are your Pokemon getting stronger? Here. Okay. Thanks. I'm gonna need that smash a rock against my sock. Sure. Alright, I think you battle though. Nope. Uh, nope. No one wants to battle. So, over to the left, we are actually gonna be heading into an area called Pinwheel Forest, which has a lot of cool Pokemon, I hope, but we can actually catch stuff over here. I don't know why I'm battling you first, because she's a nurse and every time you talk to them, they can heal you up. I guess you only have to battle them once for them to be able to heal you, so... Sorry, that's kind of cool, but I didn't have to battle her. I could have just walked past her and then come back later when we actually need a heal up. But I guess this is better because, you know, if we actually get her in her battle, we can just heal up and then come back to her after we battled anyone that we battled. And battles are cool. I love battles, battles, battles. I'm going to get rid of Tickle because I just... Oh, it's attack and defense, not defense and special defense like I thought. I thought, you know, you're tickling a Pokemon. He's going to completely become defenseless due to him writhing around laughing and being all tickled and whatnot so uh, I guess that's not how it works but now we have crunch on Randy which doesn't matter because we are confused and we're gonna get slapped Jesus the five slap combo my man Audino what is up with that abusive wife Audino that's what I like to call him look at this Jesus look at this man four and then or five and then four slaps my goodness, Audino, what is up with it? Jeez. Okay. Okay, and a... All right. I'm out of here. I, I don't want to deal with this. So he's double slapping. I'm going to go for B-Jobs. Um, 
If I go for Nuzleaf, he would probably die because, again, weak to that. Uh, X Scissor or Poison Tail. Let's go X Scissor. All this kills it. I just want this battle to be over so we can catch a new Pokemon. That would be pretty cool if we could do that, my man. There we go. Finally, no Nurse Sherry. I'm going to say Shirley because I have an aunt named Shirley, which I'm... I think I probably talked about that before when I was back in California, which was actually a year ago now. That's pretty crazy. I started my Sacred Gold Nuzlocke while I was over in California last summer. And already we're at a new Nuzlocke, and we're... You know, it's summer again, so that's kind of crazy. Alright, we found a new Pokemon. It is Timber. This is what we've got to catch in this route. I honestly don't even know if I have Pokeballs. Okay, cool. We have 10 Dive Balls, 4 Pokeballs, 1 Great Ball. So we should be okay to catch this guy as long as I don't kill him in one hit. So I'm going to go for the Crunch because that's not going to be very effective. And Randy's pretty high level, so I just, you know, I'm going to go for what I can. That's not good. He's going to get a critical, but we're really high level, so should be okay. Okay, is he really going for Bide right now? This is not going to be good. I need to catch this guy right now before he kills us with a critical hit Bind. That would not be good. Come on, Great Ball. I believe in you. If this doesn't catch, uh, we, we might be in a little bit of trouble. Uh, all right, cool. Well, he's still storing his energy. We've got another shot here, and all we have left are Pokeballs. I guess I should have gone for another Crunch. I honestly thought that he was already going to unleash his energy. Oh my gosh, I'm crossing my fingers right now, man. One for this guy to be caught, and now two for us not to die because we already didn't catch it. So, whoa. Okay, it didn't even do half damage. I don't know why I was so worried. Let's go for that crunch. Uh, oh, yeah, I was worried because of focus energy, but I don't. I, don't, I think it only boosts your uh, critical hit power the next turn, so I guess we're okay. All right, next turn, though, I'm going to switch out Randy because I don't want him to die randomly, so we're going to switch out because now we're leered, so that's not good. Please catch... We only have two Pokeballs. Oh my god, Timber. Come on, my man. Alright. Alright, I'm gonna go for B-Jobs just because, you know, two Leers. We're in a little bit of trouble. And I just want this guy to catch. Please. I think I only have two Pokeballs left. Yeah, I have two. Everybody in the YouTube space, cross your fingers right now for my boy Timber so that we may catch him. I hope you're all crossing your fingers right now because I am. Yes! Thank you so much for crossing your fingers, guys. I knew it would help. Again, Destiny, I knew it. I knew it would help. And because of that, my boy Timber here, we're going to name him Destiny. No, we're not, because it's a boy. I think I should actually start naming them after the gender they are. So how about instead of Destiny, we call it Destino. Just, it's a little bit more boy, boy, boyish, I, I guess. And it means Destiny in Spanish. So his name is Destino. Because it was our destino to catch him. So, that is probably going to end off this episode, though. We at least got to catch a Pokemon. We faced off against N, and we made it to Nacreen City. So, I'd say we did quite a little bit. Next time, though, I will probably either be heading into the forest or training up to take on the gym. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed. Hopefully, I'll be starting to go back to the daily videos, which I never really did. But, well, a long time ago, once upon a time. Thank you guys for watching. Once again, if you enjoyed, leave a like, and I'll see you all next time.